I mean, I wouldn't be able to play this well without, like, the guys on the back end and, I mean, guys that's next to me. So, like, it's it's a whole unit thing. And, like, if everybody does their job and the plays that come to you, you just got to make them. So, that's the main thing. Did you think that call was going to be reversed, the one where you strip sack the guy? I don't know. <laughs> I really didn't. I was. I just felt like I just had to do my job, and I, I put my fundamentals on film because that's one thing we do. Like often, we always swipe at the ball, always trying to get a turnover. You see guys though sometimes if a call doesn't go their way like that on a review. I mean, they get frustrated, they get angry. What What was your reaction? I mean. I kind of felt like it was a fumble. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I mean, I'm, put, I'm like, you know, you go hard. I mean, come on, you can meet halfway or something like that. But for the most part, I was, I just wanted to like go hard and like at least try to like make the play and make uh, cause the turnover. Because like, like I said, we put put fundamentals on film and you know swiping at the ball. That's like that's a turning point in any game. So. When, when they have a review and they show it up on the scoreboard, do you pay more attention to it when it's your play? Uh, I mean, I look at it if it's anybody else's play. It's probably the same excitement for, like, Sam or Jalen or someone else on the D-line. So, uh, I mean, I just, yeah. it, it's it, it's like one person's success is everybody's success. You mentioned Jalen. What, what's he added to this defense? He kind of seems like an unsung hero with the versatility he, he brings to the line. I mean, like I said, Jalen, like all year, like even before this, like for everybody who doesn't know Jalen, Jalen is like, he, he's this guy who like has a motor, who like enjoys it, very passionate about like the D-line and the team. I mean, he's a great guy. So, I mean, he's probably, one, he's the ideal teammate. He's a great teammate. Are there any in-house rewards for forcing a turnover? I, I mean, Buckeye leave, free t-shirt, just, I, is there any called up to the front of the room? You get any I mean, reward? All right. A t-shirt, that was about it. I mean, you get t-shirts for like being player of the game or something, or like you get, I mean, I'm, I'm not. I'm just wondering, I did you get the t-shirt <laughs> even though the car, the call was wrong? Do you think it was wrong? The, the, well, the, the, I think it should have been a fumble. Oh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't dictate that. that that's, the side, that's between Coach Meyer and everybody else. I mean, if I could, then. I mean, I think everybody get t-shirts. <laughs> uh, hey, I thought you got a double clutch. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm hey, you know, right. saying. Happen to be there. Take right. one. Is there is there a sense of uh, what is the sense of like confidence? I guess with this defense right now, and compared to maybe last year, because last year was a pretty good defense <laughs> by right. any measure, you know. But y'all are continually continuing to make plays at the rate. What, how would you describe this defense to someone right now? You're not still young, are you? No. I mean, it's hungry, we're a hungry defense. You're always looking to get better. Like, I, I can tell you, like, guys in practice, like, period 15, 16, getting late in practice, about to go to team period. And guys, they seem to go harder as the team period goes on. So, like, you just tell everybody's, like, trying to work their craft and get ready for Saturday. Because when Saturday approaches, everybody, like, is on top of their game, and that's why we play so well now. Because the practice during the week, they're like phenomenal. We practice so hard. What no, explains fine. that? Well, why is that? I mean, is it because so many guys that can get the play? I mean, what what do you think is driving that? That it's approach. The, it's the culture. It's the culture. You know, the leaders set the tone. Like it's been passed down from year after year. And it's the culture, the leaders, and like the leaders. I mean, well, the leaders set the culture, and then the culture, and like. It just mm -hmm. it just spreads. It's like it's like cancer. Like you, you can't accept nothing else. And you gotta get everyone to trust you, and everybody buys in to like what the leaders say and like what your unit leader says. And then like you have no choice but but to go hard. Uh, you know your play. Uh, Nick Bosa had the t had the tackle on the goal line play, but Michael Hill had good penetration there. Robert Landers. Right. Uh, what does that do for a, a group to? to make plays like that that lead clearly, obviously, to a victory. What does it, from a confidence standpoint, what does it do for it? It shows how, how we're on the rise. Like, the defensive line, the whole defense is, like, always on the rise. And, you, like, for everyone who, like, doesn't think of it that way, like, we put on film our fundamentals and what we are supposed to do and how we're supposed to play, and we just play hard. And that's mm -hmm. the thing, like, play hard, people make plays, 
confidence rises and people who think like teams are young, it, it, it that evaporates. Like, it's gone because guys, guys just always do what they're supposed to do. You guys uh, played a lot of you know, in today's world spread offenses and everything, and now your point, this Wisconsin team is a little bit more traditional. What do you expect? And does, does the mindset defensively change when you're going against a team that's a little bit more traditional style? Uh, as far as for me, I think that it's, it's going to be more of a power game. Um, I think now you just you have to line up and face someone head on uh, because now it's like man on man. Like You have to defeat your man. And that's the way I look at it because they're, it's a physical offensive line and I mean, even from the year 2014 and watching them play everyone, it's, it's a physical game because it's traditional. I mean, two tight ends on the ball, I mean, they looking to get after it. So you have to be a physical defensive front, and that's what we've shown all year. Like, we could be physical, play fast. I mean, that's just how it is.